Hi guys, Wen Chen here from Laoyat.net. I just got back from the BlackBerry Bolt 9790 launch and I've got a little something with me. That's right, I got a working unit of the uh, brand new Bolt 9790. Um, so let's stop talking and start unboxing. Alright guys, so this is the retail packaging for the Bold 9790. Uh, first thing you'll notice is this sick sort of uh, custom blackberry batik they have going on around it. And that's of course to represent Indonesia. Since this unit will be launched in Indonesia uh, before anywhere else in the world. So let's get this off. Yep, it's a official unit from... What's this? TAM? I guess this is one of the uh, authorized uh, Blackberry Disties here in Indonesia. Uh, pretty standard fare, you know. You got your serial number, your pin number, all that. Two year warranty, not bad. And uh, oh, some of the Disty information. There you go, nice and sealed. Let's break that open. Okay, so what better way to break a seal than with a knife, huh? Let's try and get this bad boy open. Oh, damn, what tough tip is this? It's not opening. Ah, finally. There you go, seal broken. Alright. What's this? We got a warranty card. Cut Garansi. Hmm. And we got the device itself. As you can see, it's pretty slick, it's small, just like the 9780, about the same size. Uh, there's no leather back though. Let's take off this piece of plastic. Yep, there's no leather back. They've opted for a hard plastic cover. Oh no, actually, it's soft rubberish. Hmm. Interesting. Soft rubbery back. Nice green there. Let's see what else what else is in the box. Oh. Wow, that's a nice charger. Okay, we got a new Blackberry charger here. Looks a lot like those minimalistic iPhone chargers. Hmm, not bad. What else do we have in here? Battery. What's the cap of this battery? Let's check. So it's a 1230 battery, odd number, but a bit small I would think. You know, usually the standard is 1,005 these days, right? Especially Blackberries, they tend to suck up a lot of battery life. Interesting. What else do we have? Uh, standard headphones. USB cable. Mm. Yep, and some user manuals. So let's plug in the battery and have a look at the menu. Okay, so I've popped open the back of the 9790 and uh, there is the NFC strip thingy on the back. Let's try and get that in. Yep, and as you know, NFC will be shipping standard on most uh, new BlackBerry devices now. Let's slot in the uh, Indosat SIM card. That is like a uh, that is the local provider giving you BlackBerry services for as cheap as nine thousand rupiah a day, which is not too bad. That's about what, just over one US dollar. Okay, we got that in. Now let's slot in the battery. Wonder if there's any juice. Ah, we're in luck.
Okay, there you have it. The 9790 is booted up now. Going through some default uh, boot up music. Oh no! <laughs> the Indonesian SIM card has changed the menu to Indonesian. We have to work that out somehow. Okay, let's just exit all of this. Blah blah blah. Okay. Continue. Some snazzy intro video. Let's just skip that for now. Alright, so this is the 9790 booted up. Putting it side to side with the Blackberry Torch. This is the first Torch, not the Torch 2. It's about the same size. Of course, uh, with the keyboard slid in, right? But um, it's much thinner. It's about half, well not really half, but it's about the thickness of the keyboard only without the screen. So it's not too bad. Pretty slick. It actually feels like a curve. The new curve is very slim. It's much thinner than the 9900, that's for sure. Much smaller in size. Now let's just skip this. Alright. So there you go, the BB7 menu. Of course, this is a touch screen, so I can swipe like that, swipe through the menus. Now, there is NFC on it, as we showed you earlier, near fields communication. And uh, let's just go through some of the menus. Device. About device, so you see it's a OS 7 bundle. Good, good. Feels really snappy. Of course, it's fresh out of the box, so it shouldn't lag. Let's see what video it has. Hmm, pretty loud. The video looks really clear. Now one thing that I did notice taking this out of the box is the uh, top row of buttons. As you can see from here, they are actually, you know, they're not as well incorporated into the body or maybe perforated. What's the word for it? it pop, they pop out. Unlike the previous ones where the, like the 9900, the top part is one solid bar with an exception of the trackpad. Mm, don't know if this is good or bad. It is different. And uh, you will be able to actually feel these buttons instead of feeling one big chunk. Not too bad. The keyboard is a bit too fast to say. It doesn't feel as good as the one on the 9900. Of course, it is a bit smaller due to the size. Mm, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. It feels a bit like the keyboard on the curve. See, it's not as... Uh, pronounced as the keyboard of the 9900. The accents aren't um, that obvious on the edges of the keys. So uh, it will take some getting used to, especially after using the 9900. Yeah, even the keyboard on the... Uh, it's pretty similar to the keyboard on the torch actually. And uh, if you use the Bolt 3, you'll know that the keyboard on the Bolt 3 is really really nice. What I mean is the 9900. That keyboard is superb. Well, I guess that does it for the unboxing. Of course, a full-on review will be coming up soon. Let me just get back to KL first. Then we'll see how this baby works out. Um, it's not launched yet. It's set to be launched in Jakarta on the 25th of November. We are told that the first 1,000 buyers will get 50% off. Not too sure how much it will cost. I think somewhere in the region of... Uh, nah, forget it. I don't want to give you a wrong number. I'm not too sure either. I heard millions. But of course, in Jakarta, that's normal. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you today. Check back soon, yeah?